Alright, let's do this. I had to pop out that memory card. Good job running down the stairs, dumb twit. <laughs> nice. Where is he? There he is. I got him. Oh crap, the wa the bridge is bro broken. And that water is rising. Holy crap. Shit. Where am I going to go? Crap, I'm stuck. Dude, where can I possibly go? Oh wait, I see an entrance, so how do I get over there though? I gotta look at the bridge. I don't understand, dude. Dude, how do I get over there? Dude, there's no possible way. Dude, did I just... The game is impossible. It's not letting me go over there. Oh my god. I can't lose. I've gone, I've gone too far, dude. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. Every... Oh, no! No, this can't happen. It can't. I have to beat this. The game's impossible. What can I do if it's impossible? Oh, thank God. Oof. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. You remember me? I'm not sure that I do. If you come here to kill her... Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. Wow. You have to come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the six on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And the uh, Traitor. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, weren't you? Where's sure you? Sarge. At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over. Hogaboom. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I'm what? God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not in our ways. Elsa, are you all right? Get away from her. It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? Yeah. You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Oh my god. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That oh! Cave. Civilians. Hospital. What is he talking about? This is the, the dude? For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. Oh no. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help me back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to be better. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her too. Get her out of here. Wow. What a twist. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Haven't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now. For God's sake, Jack. What are you going to do? The crimes. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. Really? Proud to serve you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! He killed. He killed.
kill them, didn't he? people by accident in Okinawa. Whoa. You shot him? Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Duck to an aid station. Weapons team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Wow. Holy crap. That would explain it. <laughs> you You're doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here. I'll get this right here. The water is rising. Oh, crap. You're first. No. No, Cole, you can make it. I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! Cole Phelps bit the big one. Oh, oh, oh my god. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. The water just took him out. Wow, no final boss either. <laughs> Thought I was going to have to fight that uh, guy with the flamethrower. Wow. Wow, that guy must have a guilty conscience right now. Knowing that he could have died and Cole would have been alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Moved on to seat bigs. He doesn't look too happy, though. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Hear, hear. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. <laughs> wow. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Why? You belittle his memory. Elsa. Out of my way, Jack. You call yourself wow. a friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leland Monroe. Go to her. Well, you heard At least he admitted it. Who I'll recognized the need to remove the odd bad apple from a departure made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight saying. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. Wow. A good husband. A good father. Where's the guy with the purple uniform? <laughs> and may I say... He should be here. A good friend. Well, at least I hope you mean it, Earl. You were an asshole for most of the game, but I'm taking you on your word. Great, now we get to listen to a hundred people say speeches. Oh, I guess not. Moth to a flame. Complete all cases on the arson deck. That's it. Wow. That's the ending of L.A. Noir. <laughs> that wasn't a happy ending, that was a sad ending. <laughs> Cole Phelps died and everyone's just kind of just left to do nothing. Wow. 
Oh, well, this is the song that this is a good song to have Cole die to. This is the song. This is the song that he always listened to that girl sing in that bar. Wow. Well, time to tell you my impressions. So, after about a hundred videos, this is finally the end of L.A. Noir. This game, I have to say, despite the fact that I criticized it at points in times, this game was probably one of the best games of 2011, if not one of the best games, like, probably of the year. You know, I know a lot of different games are going to be coming out this year, like Modern Warfare 3 and Oblivion 5 and Assassin's Creed Revelations, but this game could really compete with these games for Game of the Year. You know, I love it when developers, let me get back to my point, you know how I say that, you know, people criticize Call of Duty, how they put out these games, you know, every year, and it's the same crap, you can tell with this game that they put a lot of time into it, alright, they really burned it out, they took these actors who are real people in real life and strapped them to these, like, wiring machines to get their facial expressions, they went through a lot of work to make this game 100% crisp and 100% an experience that people would believe and want to go on Cole Phelps' journey with him. It was, it's, it, it, to me, I respect people who take time to master their games and perfect them. Every moment I was impressed with this game. You know, sometimes some of the quests could get repetitive, some of the searching for clues could get repetitive, and that's kind of why I wanted to speed it up towards the end, because I was kind of doing the same thing. But for the most part, they put you in situations that were very different. Like you were running across like things that were breaking, and there were a lot of different firefights. And towards the end, you went with those guys and you stormed that house. There, were all, there was a lot of diversity of gameplay. And I love that. A diverse game, a good story, everything. Everything was very crisp. And they had so many actors and people in this game. Look at this. The credits are keep rolling because so many people contributed to this game. The voice actors, the people who did the integrated technology, the people who did the face capturing. It's unbelievable how many people were part of this game and were part of the production of this game. You know, it really impresses, again, I, I know I keep saying it, but I have to make this point that I respect game developers who put time into their games, alright? You need, they, these are the types of games we need. We really need these types of games, okay? This is what a $60 purchase is. This is what you pay $60 for. You don't pay $60 for a game like Homefront, where you beat it in one day and you play the crappy multiplayer that's a ripoff of another game's multiplayer. Alright, you pay $60 for a great campaign that strings you all the way through the game and has you guessing the whole way, and you get an ending that might be a little sad, but it definitely, you know, gives you an answer to all of your questions. So, you know, that's it for L.A. Noir. I'm kind of sad that I'm finishing this game. I've had a lot of good memories with it. I've taken a hell of a lot of footage with it. And... You know, it's just been amazing. You know, I don't know what else to say about this game. It's just been incredibly amazing. It's been an honor to play this game. It's been an honor to have the fans watch this playthrough. I've been really enjoying it the entire way. I don't know. I'm stunned, to say the least. I'm stunned with the game. I'm stunned with the pace. I'm stunned with everything. Very, very good. Now, the only thing that I wasn't really impressed with was the game bugs. Now everyone knows this, there were three major game bugs that pissed me off. The first one was when you're with Rusty, and Rusty was walking into the wall at the Hall of Records, and it was a game bug obviously, and it kind of pissed me off. You know, and I just, it just kind of pissed me off, and I was just like, you know, why can't they have fixed that? And then the second one was when I was interrogating that guy, and it wouldn't let me interrogate him. And then the third one was towards the end when the, the calculator wasn't working and I had to find that letter system and I didn't hear because the guy had said it while I was complaining about the, the game bug. But, you know, that doesn't really detract from the fun. I mean, it can, when you're on a roll in the game, those types of game bugs can detract from the fun. But overall, you know, I'd say that the good things outweigh the bad things, 100%. So what does this game get as a score on a 1 to 10 rating scale? This game gets a 9.75. It was close to perfect, but again, those game bugs kind of detracted it a little bit. 
And as we know, no game is perfect, so you know you got you kind of have to take the the good with the bad. So you know, you know maybe maybe it was just the 360 version. I don't know. I mean, I watched um, Phil play his um, La Noir playthrough. And he didn't encounter the game bugs I did because he had it for PS3. So maybe there's a difference between having three game discs and one. I don't know. It's all in the eye. Uh, it's all in the person who's playing and their opinion. So, all right, that's it. Now we just get to sit back and listen to some awesome jazz music. That's another thing. The music in this game was perfect. They really nailed the music. Just like Fallout 3. Fallout 3 knew the music from the genre of the 1940s and 50s, and this game did the same thing. I really enjoyed listening to the music in the car and on the radios. Oh, yeah, yeah. Such a good game, man. Alright, I don't know if... I'm already, like, 16 minutes in. I don't know if I want to have to do all this with the credits. <laughs> Additional Cole Phelps mocap performed by Wow, dude! People did the stunts for this guy. Holy shit, dude! You don't see people doing the stunts for Modern Warfare 2. It's a freaking graphic engines game. And here's the composer Andrew Yale. I already I've already downloaded some of his uh, music from the La Noire soundtrack, so I already have that on my iTunes right now. So. All this jazz music, relaxing, some of the chase music. Vocals. It's that girl who was singing. Elsa songs, Guilty. These are the songs that she's been singing. That's the radio station. Wow. Alright, I'm going to stop the video, because I don't want to have to make a 20 minute video of this, but like I said, L.A. Noir, a freaking fantastic game, one of the best of the year, it's definitely a contender for game of the year, 9.75 for its rating, the only things that brought it back were the game bugs and some of the, some of the uh, repetitive actions that you were doing towards the end, but overall it was a fantastic game. And if there's something after the cutscene, or if there's something after the credits, I'll He's start the camera back up. But if not, that's it for LA Noir. And after this, we're doing Red Faction Armageddon. So get ready. <laughs>